as we get down to these final four days, Brandon, I got to ask you, mm -hmm. how much sense does it make to hear Donald Trump say, oh, my goodness, the pipe bomber and the guy who killed 11 people at a Jewish synagogue broke his momentum? Yeah. Dude, really? <laughs> I think in your oxymoron, using How Donald Trump and sense. How sick and offensive is that? The same Mostly sentence, a moron. Yeah, using that in the same sentence is, is part of the problem. All right, folks, back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Hey, folks, if you're looking for a hot new investment opportunity, I have two things I want to think to you to think about: illegal marijuana and crowdfunding. Now, you just let that sink in for a second. Our friends at Transatlantic Real Estate have created a unique opportunity for everyday investors like you to get in the game for a minimum of three hundred dollars or ten thousand bucks, fifty grand, or even a hundred thousand dollars you can get in where you want to fit in now typically it takes millions if not billions to invest in the legal marijuana industry and it can be pretty risky trying to establish market share however transatlantic real estate is taking a different approach they buy the land that supports marijuana grow operations and lease it to licensed high-paying tenants now imagine being a landlord to a licensed marijuana farm with the prospects of further legalization and changing public perceptions about marijuana, some investors could end up making serious money over the next several years. The best part is they are using crowdfunding so you can get in now before they take the company public. If you want to find out more, go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org to get in now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video. As it's been since before he ran for office, as he is now, Donald Trump is his biggest enemy. I can't explain or defend anything he says, and that's never been my job, never will do. Um, but I will point out, you know, that some of the issues, I guess, as far as you talk about the caravan, I think that is a big issue that people care about. My mother is a, you know, I don't want to put her on blast, but she's a lifelong Democrat. And she called me as well, kind of saying that, you know, I kind of agree uh, that we have to have some type of borders here, just like every other country. We just can't let people cross the border without uh, any, any, any restrictions, which is not happening, but which is kind of in the discussion right now. But back to your point about Trump, he says a lot Dorian. of crazy things. Also, the thing about Stacey Abrams, again, talking about her being unqualified. Um, again, it's one of those things that's not needed. It's, 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 I guess it's going towards his base. Um, don't know why he continues to put his foot in his mouth. Um, but Stacey Asian, as Dr. Cleo mentioned, is running one of the strongest campaigns, not just, you know, particularly in the South, but across the nation right now. And right. Um, having Oprah on her side is definitely um, making things pretty interesting come Tuesday. D D Dorian, it has to be offensive again. I mean, here you have people in Pittsburgh who are mourning. Uh, Eleven folks in a synagogue killed. You have... Uh, two former presidents targeted by this pipe bomber, right. 12 different devices, a vice president, uh, two first ladies. I can go down the line. Right. 100 other people, including journalists, were on the target list of this guy. Right. And Trump says, damn, my momentum was broken. Right. Yeah, we have someone who is deeply um, unconcerned with the welfare of, of people, quite frankly. And um, he finds wedge issues to bring up to soak his base. And we're within seven days of an election. So he's going to keep focused on himself and focused on these wedge issues. And just two days ago, and it seems like weeks ago at this point, he actually flo floated the idea of rolling back birthright citizenship at, by way of an executive order. And that's something that should be deeply offensive to everybody, but particularly African Americans, um, simply because the issue of birthright citizenship came out by way of uh, the 14th Amendment, which was basically ratified to secure citizenship for, for the descendants of African Americans, for the descendants of slaves. Um, it, it was ratified to specifically address the ruling in the Dred Scott case in the 1800s, which basically said that black people who are the descendants of slaves are not full citizens of the United States. So we deal with these issues day to day, and we have someone in the White House who is deeply unconcerned with black and brown people, um, specifically, and specifically, uh, and, and low-income people as well.